Good evening from CBS News. This is Newsbreak. No U.S. troops, but some U.S. planes are being used as part of an effort to rescue 14 Americans and 2,000 other foreigners from the embattled African nation of Zaire. Troops are being sent by France and Belgium. Abortions have been legalized in Italy for the first time, dealing a major defeat to the Vatican in its home country. The Vatican had called the abortion legislation an assault on human life. The verdict was guilty, and today a Soviet court sentenced human rights activist Yuri Orlov to seven years in prison, followed by five years in exile. The White House says it's not getting Jimmy Carter's story across to the public, so it's added to the staff the man who did just that during the 76 campaign, Atlanta ad man Jerry Rafshoon. Excuse me, but how'd you sleep last night? Have trouble? We all do sometimes. Somonix helps make you drowsy so you can fall asleep. Somonix, it works. I'm Morton Dean, CBS News. More news later on this CBS station. Friday, Wonder Woman shatters a hitman's disguise. Then, incredible suspense as a massive earthquake threatens a nuclear explosion. And the Incredible Hulk faces the toughest test of his life. Friday, starting at 8, 7 Central and Mountain Time. Tomorrow on CBS.